Uh, we're out here for the third edition of the Taste and Tenants, uh, the March edition for the Blueprint. Uh, we've warmed up a little bit since our last stop out in Grasslands. We're sitting at what, minus? Minus 10, I think. Minus 10 right now. A little windy, but uh, we're excited. We're out here at Acre 21, yeah. uh, kind of one of our newer properties, and really pleased to be joined by Pam Waldner. Um, property manager <laughs> Pam, how are you doing? I'm, I'm pretty good. How are you, Matt? Good, good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I hope you're excited. I hope you're hungry. I am. I'm starving. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, today we're going to try out Prairie Donaire, uh, a new retail location for them. They, this is their fourth location in Regina. Uh, they also have one in Saskatoon and they just opened last month, so I think we're all excited. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Pam, we're here. We, we, we are here, yep. We beat the lunch hour rush, <laughs> We I think. did, we did. We're lucky, actually. Everybody came in just as we were ordering. <laughs> and we're all set up here. We've made our picks. Um, what'd you go with? Give us a round Um, I think this is the Canadian maple, I believe. And it's build your own, so I just, I have never had a donair before, and I just kind of randomly picked stuff that I thought would taste good, so yeah. I, I don't even know. It looks incredible. It does. <laughs> there's, there's a lot to it. <laughs> I'm kind of like you, I've never had a donair either, so I'm kind of super excited. Yeah. Um, I went with the chicken and lamb mix, and same thing, build my own. I kind of loaded up pineapples, mushrooms, lettuce, onions, tomatoes, yeah. and uh, it feels like a newborn baby. This thing is like 10 pounds, so <laughs> <laughs> I've never been more excited. I hope you're ready. I, I am ready. Let's dive in. Let's go. Cheers. All right, Pam, so walk us through your first couple bites. What are you feeling? What are you thinking? I'm thinking this is fantastic, actually. Mm. I, I made some really good random choices for toppings, to be honest. The the meat is spiced really well. It, it's actually totally, quite good. Totally, You nailed it. Really fresh. <laughs> so outside the office, Pam, what keeps you busy? Um, kind of a general question, but. I mean, husband and two cats. I mean, I do, I have a side hustle, so I do that, you know, like video editing, graphic design, kind of, just on the side, kind of, make some extra money. Are you from Regina? Originally? Yes. Oh, really? Okay, that's easy. So other than a loser like me, who is one person you'd like to have a meal with, to sit down and get to know them a little better, you know, celebrity, you name it, who could it be? Oh gosh. Um, my, my boss. My boss should take me out for lunch. All Terry, bosses. Terry Klein. If you're, if you're watching this. You're called out, Terry. Yeah, yeah. How are you holding in here? I'm getting kind of full. Um, I'm actually still raring to go. <laughs> I'm like, I think I'm only about yeah. half. Like, I'm about halfway done, and I think I could, I could probably finish it. Really? Yeah. yeah. And what's your take on the property here? You said this is your first time to mm -hmm. 21. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of development still to be done. Mm -hmm. Um, but it looks good so far. Mm -hmm. I, you know. I like the look of the buildings. It all looks nice and clean and yep. and really sleek looking. So, yep. For anyone kind of jumping in here, maybe we didn't explain this. We're out in Acre 21 in East Regina. Um, kind of a newer development out by Green Sun Gardener. Uh, a lot of residential around. There's some, you know, a lot of retail here, obviously. Uh, the main anchor here is Save On Foods, which, you know, brings a lot of people to the property. There's a co-op gas station. Yep. Um, so it's grown really, really fast. Getting here was pretty slick. We just mm -hmm. ripped down our cola. Yep. Getting into the properties really quick. Yep. I think the guys did a did a hell of a job. So, mm -hmm. so kudos to the development team. Yep. Pam. Yes. We're all done. We are. Yes. We survived. We did. Now it's time for the moment of truth. We're here to give our review. We are. Your re expert, My review. Your expert opinion expert. review. Yep. On Prairie yep. Donaire. Uh, we're gonna start with category one. Arguably the most important. The overall rating on food out of five. Oh my god, the food was delicious. I loved the donair that I chose. Um, I would definitely give it like a five out of five. Five out of yeah, five. Like, yeah, could was, not be better. No, it was perfect. Legit it was perfection. completely perfect. Yeah, okay. it was good. Let's do value. Okay. So just to give you a bit of back story, it was forty-two dollars for three meals and a few drinks. Yep. Um, take it from there. What do you think? Um, I think the value for 
the amount of food that we did get, I think, is pretty up there. I would say, I would say it's probably about a four. Um, there's places where you could spend the same amount and get less food. True, very true. Yep, so yep. I think, I think this is good value okay. for what you're for what you're paying. Uh, moving on, let's talk about the atmosphere here. Yep. Uh, new, newly open location. Uh, what do you think as we look around here? Um, it's it's clean. Um, you know, it's it's very friendly and open. Yep. So um, I would give it like a three or a three point five, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Um, I see where you're coming yeah. from. Like it is kind of a basic setup, and yeah. you know, frankly, so there's a few tables to sit at, but I think they kind of cater to you know the ins and outs where you want a yeah. quick lunch as well. So. Yeah. Okay, so what did we settle on there? Three, three and a half? Well, let's do three. Three, three, three out basic, of five. Yeah. Okay, Pam, we're gonna go yeah. move on to the fourth here. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about service. Very key in this tech yes. industry. Yeah. What's your takeaway about our experience here? Um, we did have to wait a little bit, but there was a larger order that came in like right ahead of us. The guy had like, I don't even know, like a half a dozen donors. So um, he was probably taking it back to his crew or something. Um, it was actually Grant Mariner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> still <not as> <laughs> So I think that once once they got our order rolling, then yep. we were we were good. It was actually it was it was decent. I would say probably like a four. Four to five. Yeah, for okay. service. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Everybody was friendly and you know making sure we got what we wanted. So. Okay, well we're all here to uh, to hear from you. Is your overall rating? Would you recommend this place? What do you give out of five? I think well, if you average everything together, um, I would probably say about a four. A four out of five. Four out of five. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, just to the people watching, what would be your kind of recommendation? Would you like, push them to get out here and try it, or is this kind of a yeah. hold and see? No, 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 no. You should okay. definitely come check it out. My meal, I'm not kidding you. Like, I, I'm not much of a foodie, I will admit. Yeah. Um, but I have, you know, I've basically done all of downtown kind yeah, of sure. area. Um, and this, definitely check it out. Well, thanks again for coming on, Pam. Thank like, you. You've yeah. been a great. Uh, our, our host just, you know, keeps surpassing us. You've been great to have on. Thank you for sharing your, your wealth of, of food knowledge. And uh, we'd love to have you back sometime. Fantastic. I'd love to be back. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, we're going to be back in April with another episode of Taste Intense. We're yet to pick where we're going to go. But uh, tune in then and uh, see you in April.